Hi, Timothy Unkert here, and in this video, I'm going to create an array in JavaScript, fill it full of numbers, and then I'm going to show you how to convert that array into a single string. So let's get started. First off, we're going to be doing a lot of the stuff in the console, so I'm going to just create a basic index.html page. So I have an index.html file created, and I have Emmet installed, so I'm going to go into insert mode, put the pound here, and then run Emmet, and that's going to give me a basic framework here. And uh, we can do stuff like the viewport and stuff like that. We don't need really a ton of stuff here. Um, title will be just, uh, let's just do JS array. And really what we need to do here for this demonstration is just pull in the script dot js file or whatever you want to name the js file so i'm going to do a script colon source and then expand this with emmet and we'll just call this file script.js okay so we're pulling that into our uh, index.html file now if i open this we're going to have a blank screen here so go to my linux files js arrays open this up we've got this blank file here what we're really looking for is the console in the tool. So it said failed to load resource, the script.js file, because we haven't created it yet. So let's go about doing that. So I'm going to open up split here, and I am going to go here and create a file called script.js, OK? And I'll save it. Now if I refresh, you'll see that the error goes away, because we do have a script file. Now, I have this on a small phone size. Let's put it to a larger size here. So you can use the developer tools to check out different screen sizes. I was doing that for a project earlier. Anyway, so let's create a number array. And we'll just call it NUM and then a capital ARR for num array. And it's just going to be a blank array. So I'm just going to have an open and close square brackets like that. And I'm going to fill it up with a for loop. So I'm going to say for let i equals 0, i is less than 10, so we're going to go from 0 through 9, so it'll fill up with 10 numbers, and we'll increment i by 1 each time as we go up. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the num array, and we're going to push i in, and after that, we'll what we'll do is we'll console.log the num array, and we'll also console.log the type of the num array, OK? All right, so let's go back to our file here. Let's open up our browser and refresh. And we see here that we've got the number array console log. So we have number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And the type of is an object. It's an object type, OK? So what we want to do is we want to go up here and let's create a number array string. So I'm going to do num uh, arr and then str for string. And that's going to be also a blank array. And I'm going to do another for loop here. Uh, I'll use i again. For let i equals 0, i is less than 10, i plus plus. And we'll create some constant in this array. Let's call it. Uh, num string, something like that. And that's going to equal our, let's, let's call it num value. Uh, that's going to equal the num array at index i. And we're going to take that and put that, use the two string method. So we're going to convert it to a string. And actually, let's, let's call it num string because it is a string. Okay. And then we're going to take that num string and we're going to push it into the num array string. So we're going to do num array string dot push and then the num string here. And uh, we'll save that. And now we'll um, console dot log uh, the num string here. Uh, I, actually, no, the num array string just like that. And if we do this, it'll probably look the same, but it'll be full of strings now. 
Okay, so if we refresh this, we see actually, we see it actually doesn't quite look the same. We see that each of these has the quotes indicating that they are now filled with strings. So we've converted this number array into an array of strings. Now the strings are numbers, but really those are strings. So now what we want to do is we want to change this to a um, to just one string, okay? So what we need to do is we actually need to create a variable and we'll say, uh, we'll create the variable, we'll call it uh, final string uh, and we'll take this num array string and we're gonna use the dot join method and we're just going to join it with a space like that and so we'll have a space in between each of the numbers, but the commas will go away. And then finally, I want to console log the uh, type. Uh, well, actually, let's console log the final string first off. Let me not get ahead of myself. And let's also console log the type of final string. Okay. And if I do that, so I'll get the numbers here with a space in between for this first one. And then for the second one, I should get string. So let's do that and let's refresh. And we see we've got the numbers together, the commas are gone. You'll see that it's not in the array form anymore and the type of is string. So that's basically all there is to it uh, for switching a number array into a single string in JavaScript. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, could you please make sure to like it as it will help get out to more people. I want to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.